What's up guys, Hikikimorikun here, and welcome to another Otaku Diet review of... Yoko mm. Wakara mm. Gendai Maho. Now normally you would find me doing good reviews and recommendations on series that I love. However, after watching this one particular series, I found myself asking, What the hell was the creator thinking? Who did this shit? And God, why? For those of you who don't know about the series, let me save you some trouble and give you a short description. Our main character, Koyomi Marista, having tried several different attempts at being good at something in life, decides to take on the world of magic. She then meets a mage named Misa Anihara, who offers to take her under her wing and teach her the ways of magic by describing it to her as code. Marista, despite seeing how difficult this task would be, accepts the invitation and, to some extent, is able to use magic, but, well... You, you get the picture. Now where am I getting at with all this? In most series that we've seen thus far, the main character has always gone through some type of struggle in their life, and had a goal or objective that they want or wanted to accomplish. There was Naruto's struggle of wanting to be accepted and his goal to become Hokage. We had Calvary of the Felled Knight where Ikki and Stella struggled to be accepted by their peers and their goal of wanting their hard work acknowledged. Hell, even Izuka from My Hero Academia has his struggle of wanting to become a hero. But the point is, in all three of these series, there was or is actual character development, where Yoko Wakara Gendai Maho has absolutely none whatsoever. Now that's not to say that the series didn't have its good points. Hell, the opening and ending theme and animation was beautiful. But it shouldn't have to compensate for the actual story. Sure, there were moments where it looked like something great was going to happen with Koyomi's magic, but in the end it all led back to the exact same result of her being able to do nothing but summon pans. And even when something did happen, it was usually her friends doing it to pull her into believing that she did it. Can you really call something like that friendship? This was a series that had potential to be a great success, but instead turned out to be a complete and total letdown. With horrible slapstick comedy moments, the story at some times had little to no direction as to where it was going. In my opinion, it looked like the creator didn't give a rat's ass about the story or its characters and said the hell with it. I mean, it had cute female character designs, but no direction and no character development. You know guys, I just don't get it. I don't get why they decided to ruin Koyomi's character like that in the series. I mean, she's the fucking main character, for Christ's sakes. When you make a series and it's focused around a single character like that, you're supposed to build around that character. You're supposed to make that character more inspiring, more lovable. You're supposed to give them a way to improve themselves. But they did the exact opposite with Koyomi, and it sucks. Because she is an actual lovable character. She's... Got that nice light blue short hair, she's a lolly, she's got that extremely cute voice. I mean, what's not to love? But anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know if you think there's a way that they could have improved Koyomi's character throughout the series, because to me, they did her entirely wrong. I mean, just awful. But thanks again for watching all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked my content, and until next time, I'm Hikikimori-kun, signing out guys.